CD1 track 13. 1. Are you tired of learning English words and expressions by heart? Do you find English grammar impossible to learn? Are English essays your worst nightmare? Does it all stress you out? If so, you'll enjoy our new webpage, which is full of entertaining and interactive exercises designed especially for students revising for their school leaving test. Check it out now and tell us what you think. We already hear that it's as useful as our ideas last year for practicing communication in English. 2. Tom, congratulations on your exams. Thanks a lot. How do you manage that year after year? You must study every day or learn a lot of things by heart. Just the opposite. I want to understand what I'm supposed to learn, so I just make notes, read them, and reread them until I feel I know everything I need to know. I also have a good memory which helps. Lucky you. 3. I think it would be a good idea to study from home in front of your computer. Just imagine not having to get up every morning. I'm not sure. I prefer it when I can see the teachers face to face. Like now when we're getting ready for our final exams. The teachers motivate me to make more effort and revising with the rest of the class helps me a lot. Well, maybe, but I hope that there will be more online learning next year. I've heard that universities and colleges do more of it. We'll see. We must pass the entrance exams first anyway. 4. I've been a teacher for about 20 years, and I know how difficult it is to engage learners, so I'm a fan of all the new ideas that could help me motivate my students. There's a trend in modern education called gamification. All the learning happens through problem-solving games in which students score and collect points. It sounded brilliant, so, like many other teachers, I decided to try it. And guess what? It was fun for a few weeks before my students got bored again. I know now that even games can demotivate teenage learners. 5. My study room is in the attic, but it's got quite big windows, so it's pretty light and airy there. The room itself may not be very spacious, but it's really cosy. My mum says that it's too cluttered and keeps telling me to get rid of things, but I quite like it the way it is. It isn't untidy, just full of things I couldn't study without. It makes me feel like a real scientist. 6. I've just come back from the USA. I went to a typical school there for a year, and it was a totally different experience from going to a Polish school. I improved my English for a start, but the interesting thing was that my school used cloud-based learning, which meant we studied online most of the time. I found doing all the projects very enjoyable, because the cloud allowed us to share and edit our materials in real time. But I actually discovered that I missed being in a traditional classroom.